Good evening. Up to a thousand protesters have been demonstrating in the capital of Sudan, demanding that the jailed British teacher, Gillian Gibbons, be executed. They burned pictures of her and shouted that her 15-day sentence was too lenient. Mrs Gibbons, who was in prison for letting one of her school children name a teddy bear Mohammed, has been moved to a jail at a secret location for her own safety. Tonight, the Muslim peer, Lord Ahmed, is on his way to Sudan to try to press for her early release. Adam Minot reports from Khartoum. Fury in Khartoum as many hundreds of people poured out of Friday prayers and onto the streets of the capital. There were elements of theatre about the protests, but genuine upset too. And from a hot-headed minority of the crowd, calls for Gillian Gibbons to be killed. This old British lady, if I find her, I will kill her and behead her myself. Sticks, swords and banners were waved in an outpouring of anger at her perceived insult to Islam. Our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, we love him very much. And we have a big, uh, great red line in uh, talking about him. And she crossed the red line? Yes. Yes. Gillian Gibbons was initially to be held in a prison in Omdurman, the old part of the city. But tonight she was moved to an undisclosed secure location, apparently for her own safety. She is reported to have told her son from jail that she doesn't want any resentment towards Muslims. The women's prison, where she was due to be incarcerated for the next 10 days, has an appalling reputation. All conditions are horrible in terms of environment, in terms of food, uh, sanitation, you know, water, everything is really bad. Tonight, the Labour peer Lord Ahmed is flying with a private delegation to Sudan to add to ongoing efforts to get Gillian Gibbons released immediately. He was invited by the Sudan government, suggesting there is room for agreement. Considerable diplomatic pressure is still being applied by Britain on the Sudanese government here in Khartoum. And I understand that the British authorities feel that there is still room for a compromise where Gillian Gibbons can be released ahead of serving her full 15-day sentence. Only a small minority joined in protest today. Many in Sudan know little of the case and others feel she should not have been prosecuted and that court action against her has damaged Islam. The Sudanese criminal justice system is harsh and unyielding. Others have been beaten for illegally brewing alcohol, for adultery, and even for protesting about plans to relocate a university in the capital. The street protest lasted two hours and ended as quickly as it had started. The conviction of Gillian Gibbons has damaged relations between Britain and Sudan. Her quick release could limit that damage, but could also offend many Sudanese who feel their religion has been slighted. Adam Minot, BBC News, Khartoum.